Hey guys, I'm starting this hairstyle out with three sections. The one in the center I've put in a temporary elastic just to keep it out of my way. But you want the side section starting here at the front, and I just kind of followed her hairline down on both sides. And then I'm going to be making a braid on each of these sides. You can do a French braid or a Dutch braid, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to be bringing this braid up near this part line, so right along here. And I'm only going to be bringing in hair from the bottom of the braid and not the top. So it's technically a lace braid. I'm just splitting that in three. I'm beginning my braid. And then here on this top strand, I'm not bringing any hair in. I'm just going to cross that over. And then on the bottom strand, I'm braiding the hair in just like a regular French braid. And then you'll just want to decide where you want these pieces that are going across the style to lay on her head. When you decide it's the point where you want it to go, you're just going to remove a piece from that top strand and just set it out of the way. I'm probably going to do two or three sections. It's just up to you how many you want to do. Now that I finished this side of the braid, I'm going to go ahead and take these pieces that I pulled out and make three small braids with those. You can do regular braids or twist braids, it really doesn't matter. I think I'm going to do twist braids. So to make these twist braids, I'm just splitting the strand in half and then I'm going to twist them both in the same direction and then twist them together in the opposite direction. And you won't need to braid this down the entire length of her hair. You just want enough braid that you can bring this over to the other side. I'm just going to go ahead and add some curls in this section. This is optional. You can leave it straight if you want, or if you have a crimping iron, you could crimp it or wave it. I'm wanting some texture in it just so that it has some more volume. Okay, I went ahead and curled this. We just used our curling wand and I do have a video showing how to do that. I'll link it below. Before you move on to this section, you'll want to get this middle piece looking how you want it to look in the end. I'm just going to kind of smooth it out and add some hairspray. If you want to do some teasing so it's bigger, you can do that. Okay, now that I have this center section looking how I want it to, I'm just going to go ahead and braid this last piece. I'm going to be making a braid right along this part line the same way I did over here. Instead of removing strands from the braid, I'm going to be adding this in as I go. So I'm just going to try to get them straight across like this. Okay, now that I've added in these three strands and all of the hair from this side of the braid, I'm just going to braid it down normally a few times and then I'm going to connect it underneath her hair with the braid that we left out on this side. So I'm just bringing those both underneath and I'm going to tie them together with an elastic. And then you'll probably want to take the hair in this ponytail and curl it as well just so it blends in with all of this. Since we curled her hair, it's pretty voluminous and I'm just going to leave it as it is. If you wanted to add some extra texture to this, you could take the end of your rat tail comb and just slide it in and pull up on each of these layers. And that's just going to add like a bubble effect in between those braids. Here's the finished style. Don't forget to subscribe.